If you ever wonder how do we refurbish the battery packs, this is an example of Model S battery with defect battery pack and alert code 029, short brick and uh, SOTS Delta. This one had a small water ingress, umbrella valves, defect and in every process we refurbish all the battery packs, modules, BMBs, wirings, umbrella valves, we check the welds and we check everything and we check all the possible causes of the battery pack failure. So we never repair only this problem which battery pack arrived with, we repair all the blocks and we repair all the possible causes so we don't see the customer at least in the next two or three years. And there was a problem to test the battery pack on the bench before assembling on the car or before the shipping the battery pack directly to the customer in Italy, in Austria or anywhere else. Then we were, we were forced to make our own tool which I designed hardware, I designed uh, software and firmware in 2019 but I didn't have a time and I didn't have time to invest in this type of the tool but lately because we have a lot of defect old battery packs we need precise troubleshooting and we need precise testing on the bench we need precise internal resistance testing charging and balancing and the last step was to connect the battery pack on the bench and to test all the alert codes, all the imbalances, all the values from the battery pack. So we are sure that this battery pack will be plug and play immediately when it's assembled to the car. In this example I emulated complete wiring out of the car uh, on the bench. This is recycled smart battery pack booster, uh, 14 volts, and we are feeding the battery pack now directly. And this is a rapid made high voltage connector with H wheel and everything. We emulated 280 ohms on the battery pack H wheel, so we have interrupted connection with the, with the CAN bus on the battery pack. Now. This is example when you want to check all the alert codes from uh, battery pack, I mean what battery pack sends to MCU and they are the same codes which you, which you can see on the MCU. Why this is important? Because if you have latching errors like 027, 027 is latching error, if you have for example smart fuse service if you have uh, contactor issues, if you have uh, 107, this, this is a voltage sense defect. If you have 029, and if you want to raise complete calibration after you balanced it on the bench, sometimes you need to erase complete calibration data from BMS because after the repair, it won't uh, work properly. In this case, we have some uh, active alerts because there is no charge port connect, because there is no uh, charger, because there is no uh, some other uh, components of the car. So we don't have latching errors, so we don't need to reset anything. On the bench we can test internal isolation, we can check what is the delta, what is minimum and maximum, and what is the delta between bricks inside the module. We can see the lie data from CAN bus and in case, for example, if we need uh, to reset some of the error codes, let's say we want to reset 029, we can send the command and this means the reset was successful and if you have isolation counter, you can reset it on the bench, that's code F123 or let's say 027 
it's latching error, so it's blocking the battery pack from activating the contactors and pre-charge. So car won't start immediately after you assemble the battery pack. Here is the bench where we emulate the BMS directly to the BMBs. We connect directly to all 16 BMBs and we emulate contactors. So if the battery pack is fully charged on the bench, we will discharge complete battery pack from 100% to 0% and we will measure real and we will measure real capacity of the battery pack. I mean real, not something what BMS reported from their calibration data. And we will watch all the cells, cells, voltages, temperatures through all the process. So when the cell hits uh, 2.5 volts, it will automatically disconnect uh, contactor connected directly to the battery pack. And in the same process, uh, it's not here, but in the same process we have special equipment to charge the same battery pack to 100% and to force the balancing on the bench without car. So over the weekend, if we have some complicated case with the battery pack, we balance it on the bench, we leave it with forced balancing, so we have at least uh, uh, three or four millivolts delta on the bench and on for example on Monday we arrive here and battery pack is ready for assembly we in the process of the battery pack uh, repair we measure all internal resistance of all blocks I mean modules so we can detect in all different steps of measuring testing we can detect if there is any uh, hidden issue with the battery pack so we can act immediately while it, it is still open and while we can uh, 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 refurbish it in our workshop and remove the, the problem You're able to see on the, on, the, on the diagnostic tool from directly from the BMS our tool is designed in-house that means we I write the software I write the firmware I immediately act if we have some data here on the bench which we need to analyze there is a process between the workshop and the lab let's say 30 minutes I analyze the data can bus data I now I analyze what I need and I immediately go to the lab and I bring new software on the USB stick and we test the new software so we, we can see immediately in real life uh, what we need to see and what we need to analyze. So this is uh, all all time evolving tool in house, which we which will be available to our uh, closest partners and customers. In this case, uh, this battery pack is finished. It will be glued tomorrow. We will make a few more little tests and it will be ready for German customer and after that we will refurbish the drive unit so let's see what we do in the lab so in the lab I call it creative mess and uh, the bench is not clean because we work and whoever was whoever has clean bench that means that he's not working anything uh, I will show you here what I do when we analyze the can base data and when I uh, filter out what I need from the can bus. I immediately sit here and I write the code. I deploy code, I test it. I test it on the bench with uh, connected for example BMS on the bench and I send the data and I uh, retrieve the data from the BMS directly on the bench during the, the, the beta testing of new code. And I finish that when I finish that we deployed it directly in the workshop. And in, in the meantime, we have our partner to print out the, yeah, uh, the boxes for the diagnostic tool, EVC Explorer. And uh, in the meantime, we, I, I sit on this and assemble the PCB for diagnostic tool. I make the 
the wirings. I make the connectors. I make the, everything. And it's really time consuming. I mean, I spent more than, I don't know, 500 hours for everything till now from 2019. And I decided to make only 20 pieces. So I will not sell any more. Oh, more than uh, 20 pieces. We will send 20 pieces and we will sell it to closest partners. And uh, in the future, we will extend the tool not only to be uh, able to diagnose, troubleshoot the Tesla Model S and the X now, we will extend it to Model 3 and Model Y and uh, we will extend it to Model S. I will write the new code for, uh, for uh, not Model S, for Mercedes-Benz, for Renault, Zoe, for Smilectic Smart, for all other, let's say, uh, problematic EVs and uh, hybrids where troubleshooting is uh, really important and we need to simplify it for bench testing, for bench test emulating the car, uh, so we can repair the battery pack without uh, without real car. We can repair it on the bench and test it on the bench. So, so guys, uh, I had planned to make this video uh, to explain a little bit how we operate. Uh, we will soon get a new partner from from uh, Rimac uh, battery assembly and designing and we will have new uh, team here in the lab we will accelerate uh, all this tool uh, let's say uh, uh, development so we can accelerate bench test and bench repair without a car uh, even for let's say uh, uh, DC DC on electric smart and other cars so till then see you guys